Hi everyone, this is Suman from Decode Now. Welcome to the lecture series on building a Spring Boot application to perform basic CRUD operations. In the previous video, we created a post endpoint where we added the personal details uh, data into our personal details repository. And we also learned about the auto wiring annotation, the post mapping annotation, and also the request body annotation. To test whether the data is being added successfully or not, we need a tool called Postman. So we need to download and install Postman. Before that, just let's have a look at our to-do list. Uh, creating a post, post, post endpoint is now uh, completed. So I'll just mark it as completed. And now the next step is to download and install Postman. Before that, let's see what is Postman. Postman is a popular API development and testing tool which is used by developers to interact with RESTful APIs. So for example, now we have built a post endpoint and when we, if we want to check whether it is giving a proper response and it is uh, performing the required action, then with the help of this Postman tool, we, we will be testing our API endpoints. It provides us with a user-friendly interface for sending the HTTP request, may it be post, put, get or delete, but for sending those HTTP requests, uh, we use Postman. We can also inspect responses using this particular Postman and also mainly it is used for testing the API endpoints. So let's download Postman. I just click Postman download and click on the first link. You will be landed to the download page of Postman and as you can see here, you can see the download button. Just click on it. I have already downloaded. So this is the uh, setup um, installation file for uh, Postman. I'll just open this. Click on install anyway. The Postman is now getting installed. As you can see, the Postman icon appears on my desktop. And here is the Postman. Let me just open it. Uh, this is how Postman looks like. We have collections and environments on the left hand side. You can switch to switch or create new workspaces in this option. And on the right side, we have the environment. So we won't be uh, needing all those things. We just have to uh, send a post request here. So where will we send this particular post request? For that, we need our application running in a particular port. So let's go to our application, go to cradapplication.java and say run. Now our application, Spring Boot application is running or is starting to run. So you can see one uh, comment here that h2 console available at slash h2 console. What this means is since now the application is uh, up and running, uh, we can access our H2 console. So let's go to our uh, browser and type in localhost 8080 slash H2 hyphen console and click enter. And we will be landed to this page where it says driver classes org.h2 driver. The URL is uh, in memory test DB. Username is SA. That uh, if you remember, that was the details we mentioned in our ap application properties file. So um, in the password, it is it requires a password to connect to our H2 database. So just let's let's copy this password and just paste it here. And if I s click on select, sorry, the connect, uh, we'll enter into our uh, in-memory H2 database. So we have two tables. One is the marks table containing the ID and the marks. Then we have the personal details table, which contains ID, address, first name and last name. So when we hit that post endpoint, we'll be adding data to this particular personal details table. If we just look at uh, any, if any data is present in this personal details table, you can see there is nothing present, but you can see the columns as ID, address, first name and last name. So and there is one more thing here which you need to observe that it says that Tomcat started on port 8080. So port 8080 is where our uh, server is currently up and running. So let's go to Postman. Uh, 
just say new or you can just click this plus button and here uh, you can see all the uh, standard http methods so the one which we want is post and the url for that is we first have to enter our uh, where our uh, server is running which is the local host 8080 and we have to mention the uri path uh, to which we have to send for that if you go to our controller class it is it starts with slash details and then it is followed by slash add i'll say slash details slash add and it is also expecting a request body of type personal details so personal details basically contains the first name last name and the address so in postman we have an option called body go there uh, select the type raw and open flower brackets add in the first name and give it a name let's say decode comma and then the another field is the l name and give it the name now which is our channel name and finally the address let's keep it as india so now uh, let me click so the request body is done we have added the uh, uri path i'll just click on send i received an error saying that 415 unsupported media type so let's look at our console it is uh, as you can observe here in the last line there is a warning and it says uh, HTTP media type not supported exception the content type is text or plain so basically our controller accepts uh, content type of application slash JSON but here uh, we are sending uh, content type as text or plain so for that uh, come to postman come to headers and you can see here content type is text or plain just deselect that and add uh, one more header saying content type and give it the value application slash json and now hit the send button and you can receive uh, see that in the response body we have the message success which we are returning here after this so even though we have received the success there might be chances that data is not added to the uh, our repository so in order to check that i have come to my h2 uh, console and i am just running this select command and you can see that the address is india the first name is decode and the last name is now uh, the post endpoint is working as expected let us try with some other value let me try with my name sumant and the last name is yes and the address is india let me click on send i received success again and if i come to my uh, h2 console and run I can see that Sumant uh, S with address India is also added. So our post endpoint is working as expected. Uh, this is all for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll see how to create uh, other endpoints like uh, get, delete, and so on. Uh, if you have learned something new, please do subscribe to our channel and support us. If you have any questions, suggestions, or requests, please do let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video. See you in the next video.